Hi guys, welcome back to Sakina's Travel Diary. Today is a really awesome day because I can show you the deers that I see most of the time. Look there. There's one right there. And then there are two right there. Right in front of me. This is how amazing the place is where I live. We get to see deers all the time. It is truly a blessing to be in this place. It's so beautiful. There are these white flowers on the grass. And then there are these beautiful animals. It is just so beautiful. I'm super lucky. Super, super duper lucky to be in this place. Also, while I was driving, I saw two more deers. And I think I have a video also, which I'm going to link. But right now, I just want to show you, like, just look at how graceful these animals are. I'm, I'm also very thankful that I have a Canon, Canon camera, which can zoom so well. And I can really show you how beautiful these animals are up close. And then there are cars passing by, but then <laughs> the deers have just got used to it. It's so amazing. These ones are like little babies. They are really small ones. And that one is going a little bit away from us because he has seen us. This is just the same Creef Coeur Lake. I think why we see so many deers at uh, over here is at this time is because they like to come out during sunset and morning time. And last time we were here in the morning time, I will link that clip also with this video. And at that time also we saw deers and then today again. So beautiful. All these three look like babies only. <laughs> They're all three babies. And except for us and other family, there is nobody here. We are really lucky to be here at this time. Where there are more deers than human beings. <laughs> Now I want to show the ears from another angle. Okay, now I'll show you guys how I shoot my videos because I have I have this question coming all the time that <laughs> how do you get that awesome shots? So this is what I do. I go on the grass. I lay down. And then my hand will move. And I can really, really zoom very nicely. Right now we are on video mode, but if I made a picture of this, just imagine the picture would look so beautiful. Just trying to come a little bit up to show the face of the deer too. You really have to practice with photography. Right now my hand is shaking. <laughs> yeah, but you really have to practice to be able to really get a gist of photography. Let me go back. Especially when I shot this uh, at the Niagara Falls, the zooming in and out, I received a lot of compliments from people about it. That was my intention actually. I took this particular camera to shoot for Niagara Falls and I did practice a lot at home too and I'm still practicing how beautiful let's go to the other deers those side <laughs> okay I just got off <laughs> from my <laughs> lying down position Okay, now I'll try to walk close to them and see how they respond. 
I think if I go slow, they won't go too far away because they are okay with human beings all around. <laughs> there is another family already there. So let me try going to them. So now I'm right in front of this guy. As you can see, I'm on the other side of the road. And here is this majestic, beautiful animal. Wow, what a treat to the eyes. While I was growing up in Bombay, I never imagined to be in a place like this. That was a car that just passed by. I'm sure you can also hear the sound of the birds. And everything here is just so perfect. Since you all watched my Niagara Falls video, you know that I felt really, really thankful to Almighty when I was there. Currently also, I just feel the same way. I mean, obviously, this thing is not as beautiful and nothing as compared to Niagara Falls. But for me, like, I mean, I was not born and brought up here. I neither lived here for a really long time. This is the first time in my life that I'm seeing all these animals up close. So I'll go a little bit closer to them. Since they're little babies, I think they're going to be fine. They're not going to come at me. What Max will do is just try to run away. Okay, now I'm on their side. So awesome. This guy's really fragile. He's getting bothered by the ticks. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of ticks here. And they, the ticks are biting me too. <laughs> but that's okay. I want to tell all my viewers that I mean when you get opportunities like these like really small ones also but things that matter to you just take just take the chance make most of it you know just live that moment totally the way I'm living this moment totally right now all my people who watch who are watching this video who already live here might feel this is like the smallest of thing and I'm I'm just exaggerating so much because they have already seen these things but I have not seen them so for me this is like a great thing like for example when I went to Niagara Falls people who already lived there they didn't feel anything so great they were telling me that they would rather want to go to Vegas or you know India or someplace like that but for us it's such a big thing like that other things are big for other people and other things are small for the people you know what I mean right so whatever matters to you, when you have that opportunity, seize it. I want to point out that right now I'm not just looking into my camera. I'm also looking at the deer and just letting the camera be in one position. So if the camera is shaking, then I'm sorry because I'm also trying to look at the deer. And you know, use my moment too. Like live my moment too. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let's look at the one which is right there.
close to them. So now there are two here, one and two. We left, left the other one there only. They're not getting water, they're just eating. Listen to the sound of the birds. request to you guys if you haven't subscribed yet then it is time to subscribe to the Guinness Travel Diary because there is a lot more to come and I want to clarify one thing that right now I'm not making any money from this channel and which I don't know which is bothering people and I don't know what so this is my passion and I want to grow but I want to grow in a legitimate way and I mean, this is something which is very dear to me right now. It will be so nice if I can get some love and support for this. Especially people who are watching my videos. It will be really, really nice if you guys can support me on this. And also, it takes a lot of effort to actually film a video and then edit and do all the things. It is... It is something which I'm giving my 100% to right now and that is why I'm able to put a video every day. I'm sure a lot of people will think it is craziness and it is not possible to put a video a day. She might not be doing something else but believe me, I'm putting my everything into this. I'm not watching any other shows or wasting my time in anything. I just do my routine work of cooking and doing the groceries and doing taking care of my other work and and my college and everything and then I give my 100% to this. I'm always thinking about ideas and I mean you can see from zero to to you know to making videos like this I have really learned a lot and I've come a long way. I really need some love and support seriously I need some love and support. I need the, ch the channel to grow big and I want the 1000 subscribers take it further from there this is my greatest passion after a long time I've actually found out a way to showcase what I really love and I have found a way to express so please 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 support me and help me grow if you like me then you have to subscribe if you don't like me then I don't care about it but if you like me and you're watching my videos and you haven't subscribed then think about it it will take nothing for you to hit that subscribe button it will take nothing for you to just watch my videos it's free for you but it matters to me it's the whole world to me oh my god this is like the best shot ever both the deers and the same frame and then there is a third one too out there Okay guys, thank you for watching. The ticks are biting me like anything. I have to go. Ticks are like the small mosquitoes and they are just biting me a lot. So, I had a really awesome time in front of all these gorgeous creatures. And I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.